Guys, so sorry, my camera just shut off before I was expecting it to. I only had another minute or two left in my report, so I wanted to finish it though. So I'm giving you guys a part two today. I really don't like making these videos in two parts, but I'm gonna do it because there's still some valuable information. I didn't wanna just cut it off like that. So we were talking about the south node at 29 degrees of Scorpio. While Venus and Mars are coming into a conjunction, this entire cycle in the sign of Capricorn, that is talking about a fertilization pro process of creative potential underway. And with a south node at 29 degrees of Scorpio right now, an Indian woman pleading to the chief for the lives of her children, to me this is talking about releasing the power and the control that anyone has had over us to influence the outcome of our creative process. And I feel like that is huge in the context of Venus and Mars together for this cycle in the duration of this cycle as we head towards the new moon in Pisces. We have Chiron at 10 degrees of Aries, a teacher giving new symbolic forms to traditional images. To me, this again is talking about tapping into that original authentic potential, seeing it through a new way, creating a new version of it, but based in that original truth, taking things from the past or what has always been within us, perhaps latent that we haven't paid attention to, that we haven't looked at, and really giving it a new form, giving it a new sense of expression, looking at it from a new perspective, and maybe tapping and utilizing that as one of those resources that we are using to carry us forward. And with Chiron at this degree, it's talking about this process of re-identifying things within us and adapting them to something that can be functional and usable now in terms of a resource. Part, part of a healing process with Chiron at this degree. We also have the black moon, you guys, at 22 degrees of Gemini, last but not least for our chart today. That Sabian symbol is dancing couples in a harvest festival. This could definitely be triggering, bringing up fears, insecurities, shadow side issues related to abundance, resources, fulfillment, celebration, coming together, just an ability to be carefree and connect and socialize and also true love and companion but moving into this 222 year in the midst of all of this Uranus energy everything that's falling away from us right now and everything that might be kicking up these fears right now is actually falling away so that we can align with these true soul-based connections that bring us ultimate emotional fulfillment going forward. What we are losing right now and what might be triggering these fears is actually nothing to fear because we are moving into a period of time where we are actually going to be aligning with these very things. So nothing to fear, no fear this cycle. Just because things are falling away and we may be experiencing a lot of loss right now, it's actually happening to align us with things that will bring us an even greater level of connection, companionship, and emotional fulfillment going forward. So that's the Sabian symbols alongside of the energy today, their correlation to the aspects themselves, the story they are telling us about what is going to unfold this cycle. But ultimately, we are in, as I had mentioned, the great awakening cycle of this great awakening year. Universe is testing our ability to navigate these frequencies, the barometer, forcing us to fly, pushing out, pushing us out of the net, but it is the nest, but it is not without support. There is tremendous divine support for us in this process of rebirthing ourselves, our creative potential in alignment with our true purpose, our true destiny, our highest potential, and our authentic truth. So that's where we're at. That's what's going on. We are in this month, like I said in the beginning, that is trying to help us finalize the process of awakening and breaking free from all that's been holding us back, maybe almost like a microcosm of this entire year as we move to close out this astro astrological lunar cycle with a new moon in Pisces next month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think they would be interested. Leave me comments, you guys. I love your comments. I have a Facebook page and Facebook group, and I'm wishing everyone a beautiful, beautiful new moon in a cycle. And again, I'm sorry for the two-part video, but it is what it is.